or LLC. Me personally, I started off with an LLC and then I transferred it into an S Corp when I started to break into different tax brackets. But I would say to consult your CPA to see what they suggest to you. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't give you that advice. But what we did was once we hit a specific bracket or tax bracket, we started to, um, you know, we moved into having an S Corp for our business rather than an LLC. Let's see. Someone says, can I make money before creating an LLC? I'm not a lawyer or a financial advisor, so I can't give you that advice legally. But what I can do is give you my experience share. And in my experience share, we started in 2012. We did not have an LLC until 2016. 2018, 2017, 2018, and I only got it because I didn't know that you have to have an LLC to make a business bank account. So that was the reason that we got that. But we were doing business up until then. You know, the what up, Madness? Good to see you. We were doing business up until then, Cash App, in person, cash transactions, personal bank accounts on our, you know, Shopify, etc. But that was not the right way to go, in my personal opinion. All right, let's see. Um Someone says, how do you make sure that every post you make shows that consistency, whether that be edits or graphics? Me personally, I like to diversify my content a bit. As of right now, it may seem like I'm doing some of the more similar content and I kind of am, but I'm diversifying. Sometimes I'm talking about Shopify apps. Sometimes I'm talking about manufacturers. Sometimes I'm talking about, you know, different strategies to grow your coaching business. Like there's a ton of different w things that I'm talking about, but I'm staying consistent with the time or like when I'm posting and like how much I'm posting. So I would say that don't got, don't kind of pigeonhole yourself into being consistent with one piece of content. Do something on your page figure out what works and do a bunch of stuff on your page and test a bunch of stuff, figure out what works and then double down on what's working for you. And that's what's been successful for me. Uh, let's see. I'm interested in a men's underwear collection. Uh, where should I start? I probably would start by finding a manufacturer for yourself. I actually just had a phone call with the C, or excuse me, the founder of Ethica and he was a dope dude. So maybe I'll, I'll tap in with him and see if he'd be willing to, you know, share one of his uh, manufacturers for you. So that might be a good place for you to get started. Um, let's see, do you do collaborations? I mean, as of right now, not really. We're kind of, we're kind of full on um, people that we've been tapping in with and doing collabs with. Uh, and I would suggest that you do the same, that you make sure that your collaborations are planned out super uh, ahead of time. Tips to finding a winning product in general. So tips to finding a winning product, I would say is this. There's typically five things that you want to look for. There's actually a bunch more, but I'll just give you my five favorite. A winning product typically is going to have, number one, a wow factor. It's going to stop the scroll whenever people are scrolling. Number two, you can sell it for two and a half times or at least three times the amount that you got it for. Number three, it um, can't be easily found in stores near you because why would I go to this brand website when I could just go get it from Walmart, Target, or whatever else? Um, those are three things that I typically look for. There's a, there's a ton more, but those are three super important ones. Wow factor, you can sell it for three times you got it for. Can't find it easily in stores. I typically like to go for sm uh, something that has a profit margin of $20 or more. Uh, sometimes you want to have some stuff that is small or a, like a good that you that has to be constantly purchased small because you get better shipping prices um there's a ton of things that go into it but those are just a few of my favorites look my fashion what up look my fashion good to see you in here looking for a great print on demand company in the u.s apart from all the prof, pro, uh, popular ones no printful no uh, printify or custom cat can you direct me somewhere i like a, a place that's in atlanta georgia it's actually called cgp connect dope place cgp connect another one is i print i ship another one is i print your swag there's a ton you gave me three that you didn't want i gave you three that you can try out so hopefully that'll help you out let's see what else we got um duh, 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 duh. what are the top stocks to invest in i'm not a stock trader i know a lot about clothes i don't know a lot about stocks i lend, I, I lead into uh or i i lend my knowledge or, or i gather knowledge from, I should say, the homies like Aristotle and, you know, Jacoby and a few other people as well. I'm not the guy when it comes to stocks. I'm real simple. I invest most of my money back into myself to increase my earning potentials. And I also invest in things that I know and I like, like, you know, my business, 
Um, cryptocurrency, you asked about Ethereum. I'm a fan. I have a bunch of Bitcoin, a bunch of Ethereum, a bunch of Litecoin, a bunch of all of the coins, really, honestly. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's see. I have everything set up, but I'm stuck in a planning process. Hey, I think it's time for you to stop planning and just be present. It's time for you to start showing up. Is there good manufacturers in Canada? I'm pretty sure there are. I'm pretty sure I can find a few as well. Uh, let's see. What's the best method to approach influencers about promoting your brand? The way that I do it is a little bit different the way that I see most people do it. I actually like to reach out with to influencers with this eight word phrase. Hey, are you offering any paid promotional opportunities? The reason I want to do that is because everyone's asking for a free handout, but I want to be someone that offers to pay for a service that they're rendering. Reason I want to do that is because I want to stand out in the DMs. Once I stand out in the DMs, now I have their attention. They actually will respond. They'll most of the time come see what we do. If they say, yes, we charge X, Y, and Z, I put it in an Excel sheet and I either use it or I don't use them. Another way that I like to check to see if the influencer is charging a decent price. Uh, and now we, we get a little saucy t uh, right now. So, you know, that's always fun when we get to share some games. So keep sharing the live out with three to five friends because we're about to get into the, I'm about to like start showing my computer screen and like really going crazy. So I use a website called influencermarketinghub.com. You can scroll down on it. And then there's something that is called the Instagram sponsored post calculator. You go there and use that. Scroll down a tad and then you type in Justin P or whatever influencer that you're looking to do business with. I press enter. It's going to show me the influencer's follower count, their average likes and their estimated earnings per post as well as their engagement rate. So typically you want to see an influencer be between the one to 10% engagement. So I'm hitting those numbers there. Obviously you want to see a good average likes, a good follower count. And this is the, what you're looking for, the estimated earnings per post. So last time I did this, I was earning about $500 per post. Looks like now I'm earning about $700 per post. So don't hit the DMs unless you got about 700. All right. So no, I'm just kidding. I don't even uh, do sponsored posts at all, but that's just a quick hack to see if an influencer is, uh, you know, if they're charging too much, charging too little, et cetera. Um, how can I get business funding and grants? I'm not the person for that. I have friends like Ellie Talks Money and Trishana that help me out with that. Uh, I stay in my lane. Let's see. Does it make sense to get your shirts and silk screen? Um, I like silk screen. So, I, I mean, what you're basically talking about is like screen printing. I like screen printing as the best method. Do you use click funnels? Yes, I do. And I actually, um, I'm really big in two spaces. I'm really big in the online business, like physical product space. And I'm really big in the coaching space as well. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps you out. I do definitely use click funnels real quick. Comment coach below real quick. If you're someone that is a course creator, content creator, consultant, coach, one of those things. I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, I want to see if we got any coaches in the building because I would love to share some game about how to grow a coaching business as well one of these days. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I bought your program. I'm just waiting on getting my tra my name trademark before I start. Uh, I start, but what should I do beforehand? You kind of are like going against <laughs> some of the stuff that I talk about. I'm, I'm the type that, you know, I don't like to put the cart before the horse. I like to jump off the, you know, the cliff and then build the plane on the way down. Um, I understand I'm not a lawyer, can't not giving you legal advice, but I understand that there's some risk to, you know, kind of getting yourself out there before you have your trademark. But let's be completely honest, bro. They copy in Nike and Adidas and all these places. Like what makes you think that you being trademark is going to stop people from copying you? Let's just be honest. And then number two, your business, if you're just getting started, is so small that I can't see people actually caring until you make like millions of dollars, not trying to be shrewd, rude, etc. But it's just the truth, bro. So me personally, I don't like to get my letterhead, my my office space, my trademark, my all of those things. This is not legal advice, like I said, but I like to go get sales and then I like to use the sales to get all of the things that I need. So, you know, I would say that. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Let's see. Uh, someone that bought a badge says, oh, Lord, it just scrolled all the way down and I just missed a bunch of questions. Um, 
Let's see. I know my, that my competitors are making 50K plus a day in my niche. Is it smart to order inventory without having sales yet to cut shipping times? I don't typically recommend that, to be honest. Um, I personally wouldn't buy a bunch of inventory unless I knew that I already had sales for it, um, like doing a pre-order. Or, excuse me, if I had been selling that item consistently and I was running into inventory problems, like... If I was running into inventory problems because of how consistently I've been doing this, then I would now order stock and then put it in a fulfillment center so that I don't run into inventory issues anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you for all the sauce, coach. No worries. No worries. Uh, someone says, I need coaching. <laughs> Consultant. Co I see some coach, coaches, course creators, coach, 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 content creator, coach. All right, dope. One of these days, I'm a um, one of these days, I'm a, I'm gonna start doing, giving some game. I'm gonna get some game. All right, let's see what we got. I'm scrolling. I sold three beanies the other day. Congratulations! Did you use one of my um, Anissa? It looks like did you use one of my my strategies to sell those three beanies? Let me know. Let's see. Let's see. Where or how did you start? That's a great question. Um, I started in. 2012, my um, my business partner, Corey, he had a brand called Support Black Colleges that he started with his cousin. They started it together. I had a background in digital marketing, so I used to like grow Instagram accounts, grow Twitter accounts, etc. They, um, I ended up making a Twitter account for them, growing it a couple hundred followers, then giving it to them, just showing love. And then um, I was in the first photo shoot for Support Black Colleges just as a friend. And then later down the line, like four or five years later, um, Corey approached me and said, yo, bro, I want to take this support black college thing seriously. Would you be down? I know that you got some experience on the digital marketing side. I had bought hundred dollar coaching call, thousand dollar course, thousand dollar course, all of the things learning, you know, drop shipping and all of these uh, other things. And I wasn't very successful there because I had a limited mindset on my budget and spending and ads at the time. And um, what I ended up doing was taking the learnings that I learned from those courses and applying them to support black colleges. And it went really well from there. So that's kind of my story. Uh, extremely short. This is a lot that went into it in, in, the, beginning, uh, in the middle. I needed to hear that regarding trademark and been holding off on some retail placements because I was worried about trademarks. I mean, let's be honest, bro. Like, bro, trademarking alone is going to cost you like a thousand, two thousand bucks, a couple thousand, whatever. And then that's just for one placement, like, or excuse me, for one category. You have to get trademarked in every single category that you want to have your brand on. So it's like, it's thousands of dollars just to even move the needle there. Now there's, you know, there's poor man trademarks and intent to use and different things like that that you can do. But I mean, at the end of the day, bro, there's a hundreds of people copying us right now and we trademarked up, lawyered up and all of that stuff and it's not stopping them. So all we can do is just have the lawyers fight the battles, right? So um, let's see, let's see. Do you make your own ads or pay someone to do ads? Um, at the stage that I'm at now, I am paying people to make the ads and paying someone to run them as well. But I recommend that you learn the skill sets yourself first so that you're at least good enough to have a conversation with someone that may be creating content or running ads for you. And then you know what it takes to actually get that thing done. So worst thing I see newer entrepreneurs do, they get in the game, they're excited because they hear advertisements and ads and stuff works. They then hire somebody for a $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 retainer. They don't even have a budget to put into the ad spend. And then they waste all of their money. And now they kind of don't have anything to move forward with. And they hire people to do content. Me personally, I would recommend that you do everything yourself first so that you learn it and can have a conversation around it. And then after you have done it yourself at a decent enough level, you then give it to somebody else. Um... As a beginner, what Shopify plan is the best? Probably the $29 one. Super simple. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'm scrolling. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Talk about targeting uh, targeting fa with Facebook ads. I mean, at the end of the day, for any anyone that's like, you know, getting started with Facebook ads in general, there's a few things that are working. I actually did, uh, me and my boy P. Smith, I don't know if he's in here right now, but we did a training tonight for my um, my coaching program and we talked about like lead gen ads and just a ton of stuff that is killing it right now for uh, for like product based brands and stuff. And um, 
essentially what I'm trying to tell you is this. I use five different categories that I pick for the interest that I'm using for my Facebook ads. So anyone that's a beginner, you have your campaign. There's three levels to Facebook ads. You have your campaign, you have your ad sets, you have your ads. Campaign is where you put the budget for how much you want to spend. Ad sets is where you target and pick all of the targeting. And then ads is where you show the creative or the videos and etc. So he's uh, he or uh, I can't even tell he or she is asking about, you know, talk about targeting for Facebook ads. Typically what I do is I pick one of the uh, like five categories and I pick two things from each category. So you have um, two interests from each category. You have one. Uh, what's it called? Um, oh, don't give me the lion. Uh, celebrities. You have celebrities. You have public figures. You have uh, magazines and publications. You have TV shows and movies. And then you have other big brands that are your quote unquote competition. And then you have adjacent things that even P. Smith talked about earlier today. Um, some some adjacent things I won't go that deep into there, but there's a few different things that you can do with Facebook uh, with your interests that you're talking about. So there's a, there's five different categories that you can pick a few things from to get rolling with your with your interests and hopefully hopefully that helps you. Uh, the site again with the influencers is influencermarketinghub.com. Best three PL or third party logistics company. I like Shipmunk the best. Um, let's see. I'm gonna scroll down because I know I'm missing a ton of comments. Let me scroll. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Any insights on the logo creation process? Me personally, I like to use a website that is called Hatchwise.com. Hatchwise, cheaper version of another site that I like to use, but it's a it's a good way to get started. Hatchwise.com. Let's see, what's a good return on ad spend on Facebook and IG? It's definitely going to differ depending on the type of brand, the type of content, a ton of different stuff that's going to go on. Um, but, you know, typically if you can make more than your BER or your break even return on ad spend, you're in a good place. You can only calculate that for yourself, though. Let's see what else we got. Shopify or Big Cartel? Shopify 1000%. I'm simple. I follow the billionaires. Yeezy. Kylie Jenner, Lip Kits, Supreme, Fashion Nova, Gymshark. They're all on Shopify. Uh, how to spy on other brands using TikTok ads. All right. So what you're going to do is go to Google and then type in TikTok ads library. And as you can see here, TikTok ads library. And then once you scroll down, you click on this first one. Top ads, high performing auction ads. You click on that, and once you click on that, you're gonna type in whatever you know, whatever brand that you want to search up. Let's just say you want to search Nike. That's always an example that I like to use. Once you search up Nike, now you're gonna see the 61 different ads that Nike is running. And as you can see, these are the ads that Nike is running currently. So you can just literally copy um, or you know draw inspiration from some of the bigger brands that are already killing it online. Another thing that you can do is you can go in here in the filters. You can filter it by industry. So let's just say you are in the clothing business or something. We can go to apparel and accessories. Then we can go to, let's just say, I don't know, men's clothing. And then now what we can do is we can filter it by, and let me clear this real quick. Um, what we can do is we can filter it by the objective. And let's just say we want it to be conversion ads because we want to sell stuff. And then we want to make sure that the likes are in the top one to 20%. So now, and we can do that within the last seven days, last 30 days, last 180 days. And then now you have just got all of the best performing creative that is working right now on TikTok. And you don't have to guess about what type of ads that you want to run. Okay. All righty. We're getting into it. We're getting into it early today. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Where are we at? Is there a certain website to pay for ads? And is it possible to get those ads on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? Yeah, I don't. So if you're talking about creative for ads, uh, yeah. If you're talking about like different people that you can pay, there's different agencies that you can pay to to like run your ads. I'm just not sure which one you're talking about. Any tips on finding models for photo shoots? 
Me personally, I always look to my own Rolodex and I will just look for people that are in my friend groups so that I can get them for free. If not, you can go to Facebook groups and you can look up different Facebook groups in your area or not in your area, it doesn't matter. And there's typically model Facebook groups or people that enjoy modeling, uh, people that are like models for hire, et cetera, like those types of Facebook groups. And then you can put that you're looking for someone uh, to, you know, come be a part of your, you know, your modeling opportunity or whatever it may be. And you may be able to get a new upcoming model to do something for free for you. Let's see. Do you like print on demand or pre-order more starting off? I like pre-order. Uh, is there a free class tomorrow for beginners? Yes, there is a free class tomorrow. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, let's see. Let's see. How do you find a good designer? I'm, I am I feel like I to teach this every day, but uh, I have no worries in teaching y'all. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Instagram.com. Then you're going to type in .std in the search right here. Then you're going to see a bunch of people that have design studios. Uh, the other day I found this person, blacknoir.std. And then when I went to their page, I saw that they had some pretty dope stuff. And then you can just go and look through all of the different people that have uh, dot std in their name because they all have design studios so like even this was dope with like the 3d print on the beanie i thought that that was pretty fire so that is a, a way that you can um you know that you can find some different uh, dope designers there's a few other ways i taught some other methods as well let's see let's see let's see for your graphic tees how do you decide to do dtg or screen print i always do screen print that's just my favorite what up roxy good to see you in here um let's see best place to get hang tags um for me i use a specific i use a specific business that does this for me let's do this share the live out let's get 450 people in the building and i'm just gonna make a little list of all of the stuff that y'all want so as of right now you have uh a, a best place to get hang tags custom hang tags custom hang tags i'm writing that down I'll uh, share it live out. Let's get it up to 450, 475, somewhere around there. And I'll start giving out some some uh, some stuff that you guys are looking for. Let's see. Um, having trouble to, of finding a decent shirt to print on. Man, I just posted some content about this. I talked about the best blank t-shirts to use. There's a ton of content on my page around this. One of my, A few of my favorite brands to use. I like... Contrary to what other people like, I like Gildan, I like jerseys, I like Hanes, I like Shockaware, I like um, AS Colors, I like Comfort Colors, I like Toltex, I like, who else do I like? Um, I like Rue Porter, I like Shockaware, there's a ton that I like, so hopefully you can, you know, pick pick one of the two, or one of the few on there and get rolling. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, I answered that already. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Talk about sauce. I'm trying to tell you, I'm giving out the sauce. I'm giving out the sauce off the rip. Uh, best manufacturers for belts. I actually posted about that today, so you can go just look at my last post. Where did you get the hoodie? This is my uh, this is my boy's brand. It's called Retrovert. Fire, fire brand. Uh, how to get celebrities in your brand. I talked about that earlier already. I got to make sure you turn it on my post notifications and tapping into the lives right when we get started because I'll be answering mad questions. So y'all might, you might want to tap in a little earlier because you might, uh, I might have already answered your question by the time you come in here. And I don't save my lives because I save my lives and I give them to the people that are in my coaching program um, because they obviously work with me at a higher capacity than, um, you know, than just going live for free and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, make sure you turn the post notifications on. What heat press mas uh, machine is the best in your opinion? Me personally, I like Stahl's heat presses um, and I use the Hotronics, the dual head one. That's just my personal favorite. Uh, let's see what else we got. Only here, yeah. this STD. I'm trying to tell you the dot STD is valid. Dot STD is valid. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, do you print yourself? Nope. Shopify or Squarespace? Shopify is Squarespace better than Shopify? No. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to scroll. I'm trying to find. 
make sure I answered everything. Give me one second. Best Chanel patches. I like my, uh, I like this company that I use. I'll go ahead and give y'all a, a company that does like um, crop charms, pins, embroidered patches, etc. Just because I want to see y'all do good. But share the live out. Let's get it to 450. If we get it to 450, I will give you all the custom, excuse me, the custom hang tags manufacturer. And I will give you guys the Chanel patch manufacturer that does my stuff personally so uh but as far as right now just to show y'all a little love where i'm getting my pins croc charms all of that type of stuff done it is on this website right here it is called gs-jj.com and they do all types of pins keychains custom patches so as you can see they do lapel pins baseball trading pins challenge coins embroidered patches belt buckles medals lanyards wristbands they do uh, uh labels buttons pvc patches they do a ton of stuff so hopefully that'll help you out um i wear manufacturers or vendors i posted that on my instagram already i gave the um the game on who makes louis vuitton's uh glasses so you can go ahead and find that on my instagram Let's see, let's see. Do you feel it's better to sell a wide variety of product or tap into a niche? Me personally, I like to um I like to tap into a niche and then kind of spread from there, but that's just my personal opinion. Jean manufacturer, someone wants that. I think I already posted that on my Instagram. Yeah, I did post it on my Instagram already, so you can find that easy. Let's see, let's see. I'm scrolling. Um I don't check the question box. So if your question's over there, you you fried yourself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who makes Zara jeans? I actually have that on my list of different manufacturers to find because I like uh, what I've been doing is uh, me and a new friend of mine have been finding um, different manufacturers and I am going to be making a list of different manufacturers that I want to find so as of on my list right now that I don't have I have Zara Savage Fenty Victoria's Secret Prada Celine um Chrome Hearts Amiri and that's all that's on my list right now so I need to continue to add some more uh manufacturer for socks that's what y'all want to let me write that down sock man uh let's see what else we got uh let's see who has the best DTF? I I like to get mine from overseas, to be honest with you. Let's see. You wanted the best on IG. Appreciate that. Who's the best graphic designers? I just showed that. Let's see. Let's see. Saw you at the uh, GWC conference. Yeah, that was fun. I just spoke at a conference this past weekend. It was a dope experience. Uh, shout out my brother, Julian. Justin, you the truth. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Someone says I need a loan. Me too, brother. Hold me down, man. Let me hold some. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, how do you implement AI in your day-to-day -day business? I use ChatGPT from time to time. Um, I use Tome sometimes to create uh, slideshows. Sometimes I like to just mess around and make art with Dolly too. I'm talking AI talk right now, so if you don't understand, I get it. But uh, the, just for that person that asked, that's an answer. Ta uh, kids manufacturer, toddlers manufacturer. I got two of those on deck right now. Uh, let's see what else we got. What is DTF? DTF is called direct to film. It's another. It's a new way of printing. Uh, let's see. I'm scrolling. Howard University in the building. Let's see what else we got. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. What is AI? Artificial intelligence. Chat GPT. Yes. Tome. T-O-M-E. Let's see. Justin, what's a good manufacturer for joggers like the brand Minimal? I actually need to write that down. and I'll, I'll check out their... Um, I'll go figure out who makes their stuff. That's easy. <sighs> Let's see what else we got. Children's clothes. I already wrote that down. I really love your IG lives, Justin. That's an understatement. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. All right. All right. I'm scrolling. Make sure I'm answering all of these questions. Uh, one second. There we go. Okay, cool. So, all right, bet. 
Man, I want to get saucy, bro. Like share the live out with the share the live out with like three to five people. Let's get let's keep it above four hundred. Um, if we can keep us ourselves above four hundred for a little while, I'll give you guys the custom hang tags manufacturer, the Chanel patch, the sock manufacturer, and the kids gear manufacturer as well. And then someone says website developers. I'll write that down too because I do have a team that I use to do my personal websites as well. All right, my personal websites as well. So website the developer. Okay, cool. Let's see who else, who else we got. Um, I got some hat companies. I see someone asking about uh, New Era. I'll probably give y'all, uh, I'll give y'all one of my favorite hat manufacturers. Hat manufacturers. I bet. Varsity jacket vendor. That's easy. I'll write that down. Varsity, varsity jackets. Let me see what else y'all want. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm a web developer, dope. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, yeah, so let's share this out. Let's get 400 people in the building. Once we get to 400 people, I will share with you guys where to get varsity jackets from, my hat manufacturer, my website developer, um, kids manufacturer, sock manufacturer, Chanel patch manufacturer, a few other things as well. All right, let's see, let's see. Yeah, and let's see. All right, bet, bet, bet. Cool. So keep sharing this out and let's keep it rolling. So for everybody that's just jumping in, which I'm just doing a question and answer for anybody that is in the physical product space, looking to find manufacturers, looking to get some game, looking to learn how to get how to start their business, how to scale their online business. I'm here to answer any questions that you have. OK, so let's see what and keep uh, asking whatever questions that you got in the chat and I'll keep answering them. Someone says, what about neck labels? Me personally, I like to use screen printed neck labels. So I actually will have my screen printer use a, uh, a little, it's like a tiny press, like a tiny screen printer. And you just put the shirt in there and then it has like a little tiny thing with your like logo on it and the sizes. And it just presses down like this. Um, I use those for my screen printer to do, uh, let's see. What's the best vendors for a fitness brand beginner? That's too easy. I know who makes I know who makes Gymshark stuff. I know who makes Under Armour stuff. I know who makes um, Gymshark, Under Armour, uh, Athletica, Lululemon. Like, uh, let's see. What's the fastest way to grow a new IG page? Give away all of your best information for free. That's the secret. <laughs> Uh, my boy Arya in the building. What up, brother? Did you say that DTF is? Yeah, I get my DTF from overseas. They like, they you know they print the transfer papers and then they send them to us. Um, how do you split up money? There we go. Come on, give me some good questions. How do we split up money when it comes in? How many bank accounts should we have? Come on now. There we go. So I split my money up in five ways. Every dollar that comes into the account, first I take 35 cents of it and put it into a tax account. That the then with that new number, with that new number after the taxes are taken out, I start over with a hundred a hundred percent. Okay. So this is the thing. A dollar comes in, 35 cents of it goes to taxes. Everything else I keep and it starts over in a new 100 percent With that 100 percent five percent of myself. I give, or excuse me, 5% I live off of. I know that that is not typical. I make a decent amount of money, which I'm grateful and thankful for, that I can live off of 5% of the money that I make. So this is my strategy. It doesn't have to be your strategy. So 5% of the money that I make, I live off of. 10% of the money I save. 10% of the money I give. And then um, the other 75% that is left, I am investing. And most of the time, investing looks like investing back into myself, investing back into my business, and investing in crypto, stocks, real estate, other things that I enjoy. Okay. Uh, best landing page and funnel software. I like ClickFunnels uh, the best. What's up, Samaya? Good to see you. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else we got. Um, I'm scrolling. Uh, and for those of you that are just tapping in right now, what I'm doing is I'm giving game on, on like growing your online business, scaling your online business, starting your online business. And I've been giving about giving out a ton of manufacturers. Looks like we just went up above 
let's see, above 400 people in the chat. So I'm about to start giving out some solid manufacturers that you guys have been asking for. So for the custom hang tags, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the email address for the person that I use for my custom hang tags. Uh, one second. So here it is right here. Did I go to college? Yes, I went to Howard University. So for the custom hang tags, this is the person that I use. Five, four, three, two, one. Kessie at clubdebut.com. All right. For the Chanel patch manufacturer, I'm going to also give you guys the email right now. I'm going to, and I'll show you an example of what the Chanel patches actually look like. So give me one second to show that to you, but I'm typing up their email right now. Mm, give me one second. All right, that is their email. So let me show you what the um, what the patches actually look like so that you can get an idea of what they are. And guys, if we drop below 400, I'm gonna stop with the, with the game that I'm giving. So let's keep sharing it out and let's keep it above 400 people. But let me show you what the Chanel patches look like that we are actually using in our business. This is who makes my stuff right now. Um, it's, the person's name is Einstein. I don't believe that's the that's their name. That's the name that they told us. So this is what our Chanel patches look like. They look like this. They are adhesive backing Chanel patches that we heat press on and we also sew down around. And they look like this up close and personal. So let me show this. So you can see that the Chanel is raised and it's very high quality with a, a twill um, or excuse me, a felt backing and an adhesive um, adhesive backing as well. So um, for these, we use this company right here. Uh, their email is Davina. Oh, that's a little blurry. Davina badges at VIP dot one six three dot com. Go ahead and uh, you know screenshot that five, four, three two, one. Okay, perfect. Next up, you guys asked for the sock manufacturer. So let me go ahead and give you the sock manufacturer. They actually utilize, they make our socks. So like the custom support black college socks, this is who exactly who I'm using. We are using a place called customsocklab.com. Customsocklab.com. Okay. Customsocklab.com. Visionary Courses says, do we get all this game in the course? Brother, if I'm giving this content away for free, what do you think is in my paid information, bro? <laughs> you got to ask yourself that. If this is if this is free, what you think is paid? <laughs> so um, someone else says, kids, manufacturers. So let me go ahead and grab those kids, manufacturers for y'all really quickly. I'll just give you guys one. I have, I have a bunch, but I'll just give you guys one. You know, in the spirit of, you know, you know, having a little fun, you know what I'm saying? We just, we just having fun. So I'll give you guys a kids manufacturer. All right. This is a kids manufacturer right here. Black Rose Garment Vendor. This is their number. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Perfect. Hopefully you got that. Hey, if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you better get with it. You got to stay tapped in so you don't get tapped out. All right, let's see what else you had guys had asked for before we hit 400. You guys had asked for the hat manufacturer. I use a company that is called Reach Headwear. Reachheadwear.com. Reachheadwear.com. All right. Reachheadwear.com. And there's a few other places but you know, we just in the spirit of just giving. Who made this hoodie? It's a, a company called Retrovert. Retrovert. Uh, let's see what else we got. We said hat manufacturer, kids manufacturer, socks. Now we said varsity jackets. So for varsity jackets, this is typically who I use. I either use madeblanks.com. I'll give you guys a few. I'm feeling a little generous today. So I use madeblanks.com and I'll show you an example. Madeblanks.com. See? they actually will do, you know, different varsity jackets like these, which are dope. So as you can see, you know, there's a bunch of different colors. The fit is super dope. Um, pretty decent pricing as well, but they have a bunch of different colors, super high quality, um, great spot. And also I will use, what are they called? Um, I forget what that place is called. Oh no, Superline Wholesale. 
Super Line Wholesale. My boy E, that's my dog. He's actually in um, Atlanta, Georgia, which is dope. And I'm gonna show you the uh, joints that he has. So he has these wool, wool varsity jackets, and he has them in all of these different colors, black, blue, navy, sandish, green, purple, and cream. So he has a few different ones as well. So, alrighty, there is all of the manufacturers that you guys asked for before we hit 400. So let's go ahead and do this. Share the live out with three, with three to five people. Let's get it up to 500. Ask me for whatever else that you want. Ask any questions that you have around e-commerce. I will answer those questions for you. And if you're looking for a plug, a manufacturer, or whatever, then put them in the chat right now. And once we get to 500 people, I'm going to just stack up the rest of what y'all want. And I'm going to just give it all away to y'all as well. So I see that someone says that they want some robe manufacturers. I actually have robes, lingerie, um, and uh, robes, lingerie, and sleepwear as well. So let me write that down. Someone says jeans. Someone says robes. All right, dope. T-shirts is too easy, bro. Just go to alphabroder.com. It's too easy. Too easy. Uh, do you outsource screen printing? Yes, I do. So I'll give you guys who I outsource my screen printing to as well. Um, let's see what else we got. Someone says sneaker plug. Someone says swimwear. I got to remember. I got a swimwear plug somewhere, but I don't, I don't think I have like access to it right now um let's see what else we got joggers pants that's too easy that's too easy um shapewear i already made a um i made a post on this about like who makes skim stuff so check my instagram you can see that scrubs and uniforms that's too easy um someone says do 90 percent off the course for 20 minutes that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy medical scrubs i'll do that so keep sharing the live out let's get it up to 500 people we do that i will show you um i will show you the jeans manufacturer robes who i get my screen printing done from my sneaker plug uh who does my personal like hoodies and stuff like that and then also the scrubs as well and i have been seeing a ton of people ask about jewelry so i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna see if i have a jewelry plug real quick i don't know if i do to be completely honest with you guys but let me double check really quickly and see if i do and if not i will put that on my list to make sure that i do have something for the people that want jewelry stuff as well um because i don't oh i do got it i got the jewelry plugs too I got the jewelry plugs too. So I'll give that up to you guys too. So I'll write that down as well. Jewelry. Jewelry. I always had a hard time with that one. Um, let's see. Okay, dope. All right, dope, dope, dope. All right, cool. So keep sharing the live out. Let's get to like three to five. Uh, let's get to 500 people and keep sharing it out with three to five people. And I am going to um, share with you guys the jeans, manufacturer, robes, who screen prints for me, sneaker plug my personal hoodie manufacturer, some scrubs, jewelry, um, etc. Windbreakers is the same person that does my stuff. Um, dope. I do got a, bro, you don't have a roll-in tray plug though? Are you crazy? Look, bro, when we say that we got everything, bro, you say we don't got roll-in tray plugs? I point to you this that says rolling tray vendors. You really got the game twisted, my brother. You thought you came to the wrong live today, my brother. You came to the wrong live thinking that we didn't have the plugs for what you need. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Hey, all right, bet. So let me, uh, let me keep writing this stuff down. And feel free to drop any questions that you have in chat as well. So let me add that rolling trays. I got you, rolling trays. Um, let's see. I'm scrolling. Right, I'm scrolling now. This this the right live. Come on now. <laughs> this the right live. Dog clothes. Y'all are making it too easy. Y'all are making it too easy. Dog clothes. That's light. Uh, full zips. That's the same person that I use. Um, let's see. Zip up hoodies like what I got on. That's too easy. Uh, pet clothes. Too easy. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You the GOAT, bro. Appreciate that, man. 
Let's see. All right. Well, hey, y'all are y'all are putting all of these things in chat, which is cool. But if we don't get up to 500 people in the live, then I'm not going to share with you jeans, robes, screen printers, sneakers, scrubs, jewelry, rolling, play, rolling trays, dog clothes, and none of that. So we got to keep sharing the live out. Um, packaging. That's an easy one. I'll give you that one just, just off the love. I use a place called Arca.com. A-R-K-A. A-R-K-A. Dot com arca dot com okay um let's see i'm just you know let's just scroll and see what else we got i'm just curious but we got a ton of stuff man i need to write some other stuff down that i actually want to find uh there we go um cosmetics too easy trucker hats just bro just go to alpha broder i'm not even trying to gatekeep bro Go to trucker. I mean, go to. Uh, I use a place. I use Alpha Broder. I'll show you where the trucker hats are, just to make your life even easier. Because I don't want y'all to think that I'm gatekeeping. Because if we don't hit 500, I'm not gonna share with y'all. I'm a man of my word. If we don't hit 500, I'm not gonna list out all the stuff that you guys just said. So, but I will share with you the plug on the um, trucker hats, just because I. I mean, I don't want you out here hurting. I don't want you out here hurting. Okay. So I use, for my trucker hats, I actually go to alphabroder.com, alphabroder.com, and then I use Upong. So I'll just show you uh, the Upongs that I use. So these, like, they look way better in person, bro, I promise you. But um, I use the, the 6606 style, and it's the Upong Adult Retro Trucker Cap, one size fit all. And they're $4 a piece, well, four fifty dollars almost, so... Uh, not bad at all. All right, let's see what else we got. Y'all, we got to keep the live above 500 people, all right? We got to keep the live. We ain't hit 500 yet. But let me see if we got any more questions that I can get, mm, that I can answer. Um, I see someone saying, oh, poly manufacturers. I would just have to, like, do the research. It's not a company that I was interested in, so I'll just have to do the research and find it. It won't take me long, though. But it's not something I'm going to do right, right now. But I'll add it to the list of, you know, spots that people want me to find. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like Superline as well. Uh, let's see. Nah, we still, I'm looking at 492, 496, 495. I'm not, I'm not seeing 500, bro. I'm not seeing 500. I'm not seeing the 500. Keep sharing the live out three to five people. Um, uh, let's see. What camera do I use? I use a, a Sony A A sixty four hundred. I want to say. This is a hoodie from Retrovert. Anyone know the answer with the graphic designers? I missed it. Just go on Instagram and type in dot std. All right, go on Instagram and type in dot std in the search. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Keep sharing alive. I'll just keep it above 500. All right. So I'm going to start doing, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start listing off manufacturers. If it drops below 500, I'm going to stop. But if it stays above, I'm going to keep going. So keep sharing the live out with the homies. All right. So first one on my list, I have, um, what do I have? Dog clothes. So, oh, we dropped under 500 already. All right, we hit 500 again. All right, let's do it. So for, oh, we dropped under 500 again. I've been consistent. I've been giving game consistently. Can y'all be consistent and just stick around and hang out with me? Can, can we do that? Can we do that? All right, perfect. So, all right, cool. We're at 505. So for the dog clothes, I use a company called pridebites.com. Pridebites.com. So I use pridebites.com and they do they do dog stuff for like all of the big brands. So as you can see, they do stuff for Tom's, Tito's, Jack in the Box, Subaru, um, what's it called? Starbucks, Papa John's, New Balance, Arby's, Miller Lite, John Deere. Like they do stuff for everybody. This is who I use for the dog stuff. And see, they make these little cute little dog toys. They like squeak and whatnot as well um bandanas and etc so they do a ton of stuff the next manufacturer that you all asked me for let me check make sure we're above 500 yes we are uh was rolling trays the gentleman didn't think i had the rolling trays plug but lo and behold i did so for the rolling tray plugs i'll just go ahead and show you this you got five seconds five 
four, three, two, one. All right, congratulations. If you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you better stay tapped in so you don't get tapped out. So let me go ahead and put a check by these. All right. Um, next up, someone said the jewelry manufacturers. Are we above 500? Yes, we are. All right, so let's go to jewelry. Give me one second to find the jewelry manufacturers as well. Uh, the, 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 the jewelry vendors. All right, so for the jewelry, I'll just give you... Um, this uh this manufacturer i'll give you one of the best ones they actually customize stuff for people and um they're, they're super dope so let me see there we go yss jewelry five four three two one and like you said like they can customize pretty much any piece you just contact them with what you want this vendor can drop ship for you as well so you can ask them for that too all right um that let's see what else we got so we got we just gave away the dog clothes manufacturer the rolling trays manufacturer jewelry manufacturer next up on my list is that i have scrub manufacturers that you guys want so um usually we don't want no scrubs but as of right now um we, we, sorry my jokes are really bad all right <laughs> scrub manufacturer i'm just gonna show this to you and I'll give you the, let's just say, I'll give you the first three on my list because I got a bunch. So scrub manufacturer, scrub vendors, as you can see, these are the first three. So go ahead and take these five, four, three, two, one. All right, cool. So now you got the scrub manufacturers. Um, now you guys were asking for the sneaker plug, the sneaker the sneaker plug. So let me go ahead and show you guys one or two of the sneaker plugs that you can use. Where are you? Where are you, sneaker plug? Where are you, sneaker plug? There it is. All right, I'm going to give you, I'm gonna just give you one, cause I got a lot, but I'm gonna just give you one. I'm gonna give you two, cause I'm feeling generous today, all right? This is the plug on who can find this or make the sneakers for you fur bags and shoe vendors so as you can see here's two right here five four three two and one that is the sneaker plugs and i think there was only one more that we had we did oh you guys wanted to know who makes the um the robes and sleepwear so let me give you a plug on the sleepwear real quick um here we go one second. All right. I'm going to give y'all a few. I'm going to give y'all a few. All right. Here's a few on the sleepwear. Here's three. I got, a, as you can see, I got a whole little list. We ain't going to, we ain't going to do all that though. So here's a plug on the sneaker. I mean the sleepwear. Five, four, three, two, and one so sleepwear that's like sleepwear lingerie robes like all of those things okay all right let's see what else we got i see that somebody wanted the who i use to do my screen printing for my screen printing i use a company that is called danger press danger press they're actually located in atlanta georgia if you are somebody that is in atlanta georgia highly recommend you use them contact jordan if you don't live in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I recommend that you Google in your own area, like screen printers near me, and then start working with people uh, and start like, you know, building connections with people. Okay. Next up, uh, looks like we had, y'all wanted to know who makes my like zip hoodies and like who makes my custom hoodies. I'll show you their Instagram really quickly. This is just one of my suppliers. I got a ton of them. I mean, I always like to keep at least 10 in the cut. So let me show you who I use for, yeah, this is like my main person, like one of the main people that I use. So um, it's a company called Boston Industries, Boston Industries. As you can see, I'm, I'm fake. I need to follow the ass back. <laughs> so um, Boston Industries, one of my favorite places. Embroidery, sublimation, printing, 3M Reflective. They do custom tags as well. They do a ton of stuff as well. 
Um, I already dropped, I already made a, so for those of you that keep asking about jeans, I already did an Instagram video on jeans. I did a, um, I did a, what's it called? I did an Instagram video on gym wear and clothes. I did all of this stuff that y'all are asking for on my, on my page already. So I gave away gym sharks manufacturer for those that keep asking about fitness apparel. I gave away jeans. Like it's all on my Instagram already. All right. Dope. Ski mask. I use super line wholesale. Superline wholesale. All right, all right. So it's about to come in, it's about coming time where I like to like let some people on to ask some questions and see if I can help some people real real time and live. Uh, but before we do that, I remember someone that was asking me like um, a little bit earlier about like yo, how can I work with you? Like mentorship, coaching, etc. So for everybody that's in the building, if you're like yo, Justin. I've been seeing your content. Your free content is better than most of these people's paid content. I want to find one person to work with and I want to work with them until I'm successful. And you're like, Justin, I want to work with you and your team specifically. You're serious, not curious about starting and or scaling your brand. And you're like, yo, I want to work with you and your people. Then just DM me the word action right now. Like leave the live and DM me the word action. And I'm gonna actually put this in chat real quick. So I will say this, we're not cheap to work with, but we do get people results. And my goal is to have like five to 10 more people that actually want to take themselves from $0 in sales to like 5K a month, 10K a month within the next 90 days. Or if you're someone that's already doing numbers, five, 10, 20, 50, $100,000, anything less than a million dollars a month, then I want to double your revenue by just making a few tweaks and you working with us personally. So just imagine like, you know, what would it look like if you were getting this level of game from me on a weekly basis? What would this look like if my web team was doing your stuff? What, it would, what would it look like if I was consulting you on your creative, like things of that nature? So I'm going to just type that in chat real quick. DM me the word action if you want to be coached by me and my team personally. All right. And I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and um, pin that. And like I said, bro, we're not cheap to work with. It does come with the investment. And we are looking for people that are serious, not curious. And we're only looking for a few people. We only accept about 10%, a little bit less than that. 10% or less of the people that actually want to work with us. So DM me the word action. Don't comment it. DM me the word action. And myself or someone from my team will reach out for or reach out to you and talk about if you're a good fit if i'm a good fit, or if you're a good fit for us and if we're a good fit for you all right so let's see what other questions that we got oh and someone says how much so um i will say this like we are we are decently we're decently lenient i'll say we're decently lenient so we do have like payment plans available we have funding options available etc so just dm me the word action if you're interested and then we'll see if you're a good fit for us we're a good fit for you if not keep getting the free game and it won't ain't gonna be mad at you at all but if it is something that will work out and you're serious about this year like doing this thing for real in 2023 then cool all right let's see um let's see if we can uh, get somebody in here and start helping some people out real quick. Uh, we'll do that here in a second. I want to make sure that I answer um, any questions that you guys have uh, that you're dropping in the chat. So, and obviously we dropped below 500 people that are in the building. So I'll keep, um, I'll keep writing down the manufacturers that you want, but we got to get this up above 500 people for me to keep giving out that sauce and keep giving out those manufacturers like someone says, that BBQ sauce, that hot barbecue sauce. We really going crazy in here right now. Um, yes, we helping, we're helping people from the beginning stage, zero to 5K a month, 10K a month. That's our goal. Or people that are already doing numbers. Like it would be so easy if you're already doing 5, 10, 100, 200, 500,000 a month. It would be very easy for me to double your revenue just by like doing a few tweaks, just from like looking at what you got going on. Super easy. All right, let's see what questions that we got. All righty, all righty. Uh, what's the exact color of the backdrop? I think it's slate blue. I want to say I got it from Amazon. Slate blue. All right. Let's see. Uh, let me start answering some more. 
questions. Um, do you have a Facebook ads class? I actually taught one tonight in my uh, in the group coaching program that I'm talking about. We taught Facebook ads tonight, actually. Uh, can you be one of my influencers? I don't do like paid promo. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm scrolling. Should I promote my t-shirts before I get orders? 1,000%, 1,000%. Uh, does this pl a class apply to people who haven't got haven't started 1000% talk about licensing that's a good question so gentleman says talk about licensing and um, let's see oops almost <laughs> alright I'm gonna answer two questions uh, someone says talk about licensing the next person says oh, why do people say you're a scam so we're gonna answer we're gonna answer both of these questions because I love to I love to highlight the love and always love the love that I get. But I also want to, you know, um, answer anyone's questions if they have any doubts about me or what we do as well, too. So um, licensing, inter uh, interesting thing to be to do and be a part of. Um, firstly, firstly, you have to understand that when you want to license different things, like let's just say um, I do stuff for college, like schools, like, you know, the HBCUs, college campuses as well. So when you do that, you have to contact the the people that own the licensing rights to all of these schools. Typically, it's the uh, a company called CLC, so CLC.com. And another one is, um, let's see, uh, CLC and then Learfield, CLC and Learfield. So they own the licensing rights to these colleges, these schools, et cetera. So what you have to do is you have to apply and you have to pay to apply to use these licenses. You will either get accepted or rejected. Most of the time you get accepted because obviously they just want the money. Then you have to send in, they give you a, a portal to log into and you have to log in and send your designs inside of this portal. When you send your designs in the portal, they will then tell you whether they're approved or denied. And then, you know, cause some schools will be like, yo, Howard University doesn't want 50% of the garment to be red. You have to take a little bit more red out of the garment that you're trying to sell, right? So um, you have to meet those qualifications. You then, you then have to, uh, let me see this. Once you get, what's the word I'm looking for? Like once you get approved, then you have to send them a sample. So once you send them a sample, then they will either approve or deny the sample. And once you get the sample approved, now you can sell on your website. And that's typically how licensing goes. But there's different companies that own the different licensing for all of these different schools, brands, et cetera, likenesses, all of those things, okay? Um, and then the other person said, uh, why am I hearing that you're a scam? I won't vouch for myself. Anybody in the chat, if you have bought anything from me if you got any value from me for free if you don't think i'm a scam say something in the chat that will make this person believe that i'm not a scam i don't want to have to vouch for myself typically what you see though is that people that say something is a scam is they don't understand this acronym that scam is and that just means that they're still confused about money most of the people that are calling things scam haven't tried them or they are you know they're just trolling just for the sake of trying to get people to um, feed into them and give them some attention. So I actually have um, empathy and uh, I feel bad for people that have to say negative things to be highlighted themselves. So um, anyone that has an experience, you know, let me know what, if you have an experience with me that's been good. Um, let's see. Let's see. No scam. Did you the truth? My boy P. Smith in the building. Shout out. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Someone says, what? You see how much game you give out for free? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, someone says, big and tall manufacturers. Bro, I honestly just send the sizing that I want. You can measure out everything that you're sending to these manufacturers. So I just measure it out and send it to them. Uh, let's see. If you want to make money, get in, the, get in Justin's environment. I'm trying to tell you. You give out more game than anybody could. Never could be a scam. All right, let's see. What's a good pre-order app to use? I use the app called, uh, there's a few apps. There's a one app called the pre-order app. I think another one's called pre-order now. Uh, I have to double check on that. Um, but just go to the Shopify app store and then type in pre-order and you're going to see a ton of apps. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. Hate the sauce. Where did, This hoodie's from Retrovert. Uh, you opened my mind, bro. Man, that's 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 so good, man. 
Best ways to promote your items. We talked about that a little earlier. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you get in the game right when it comes out. Fragrance manufacturers. I wrote that down. I don't have one just yet. I'm not going to lie to you. Kids manufacturers. I gave that out earlier. You got to turn on post notifications and get into the lives right when they start, man. Uh, let's see. All right. A lot of these things I've already talked about. Who do you use for joggers? I use Boston Industries. I showed them earlier. And then don't comment. If you want to work with me and my team on the weekly basis to grow or scale your brand or help you get started, go go DM me the word action. Don't comment it in here. I already gave out the eyewear manufacturers on my page. Um, let's see. I already gave out the denim manufacturers on my page. Let's see. I already gave out the kids manufacturers. Y'all got to tap into the lives, man. Y'all got to turn on the post notifications. Um, I see some, I have some cosmetics manufacturers. I mean, I could just write down some of the ones y'all are like, y'all are just telling me different brands, um, which I'm just writing them down. I'll, I'll just find them later. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Natural and organic cosmetics. That's too easy. Let's see what else we got. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah. I know people keep asking the same stuff. Do you recommend having a private website and also Shopify or one or the other? I recommend just having a Shopify. Let's see. Uh, all right. All right, y'all, y'all do me a favor. Just start asking me some questions that you would like to get, um, to get answers to. Um, I, I said that I was giving out manufacturers once we hit 500. We're well below 500 right now. So you guys can keep, you know dropping stuff in the chat about manufacturers, but I want to start answering some questions to see if I can actually help some people out. So just drop your questions, whatever questions that you have surrounding physical product business, um, digital products, scaling your brand, starting your brand, draw, uh, you know, whatever ads, email marketing, text marketing, um, influencer marketing, any of the things I want to make sure that I answer. Um, I want to make sure that I answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, Blau, somebody said who's at that crib with you though? <laughs> Nigga, the niggas is here. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey no, low key, what if like what if I had a girl and she was in here and then like she hears like a phone go off in the background and then she like who in the crib with you, bro? Nah, that would be crazy. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, hold on. let me see. Uh, uh, if you have a partner, but you're doing most of the work, do you just let them go? No, I probably would have a conversation with them to be completely honest. What you want to make sure is that you align on three things with them. One, you want to align on the vision for the company. Number two, you want to align on the virtues, values, um, you know, virtues, values, core, you know, beliefs, like those things, like the things that you, you live on, that you ride on, you know what I mean? Um, so you want to line on three things, vision for the business, values, virtues, core beliefs, etc., and then day-to-day -day lifestyle. If those three things don't line up, typically you will, um, typically you will see an issue happen somewhere in the business. And I recommend that if you have a difficult conversation to have with somebody, sit them down and have the difficult conversation. What I realize is that as we have these difficult conversations, most of the time what happens is that we become a better person after we have those difficult conversations. So why do we always prolong the conversations? We should be running towards those conversations because we know that we will be a better person after them. Um, so if you got to have a difficult conversation with the, with the partner, have it tomorrow, have it right now, if you can. Um, great question though. Let me scroll back up, make sure I'm answering, uh, all of these. Let's see. Do you plan out your content? Me personally, I don't, I just make a piece of content every day, at least one, but I just make like a fire. I try my best to make a fire piece of content so that my content is constantly compounding. So as of right now, I'm gaining about two to 4,000 followers a day. Um, but I think it's because my content is continuously getting shared because it's good, uh, in my opinion. Um, uh, that's how much do you need to get started? It's not a, it's not about resources. It's always about resourcefulness. I, I would say that you can get started with 
under a thousand bucks, under five hundred, literally a hundred dollars if you really wanted to. But it's not about resources; it's about resourcefulness. Uh, let's see. Have you talked to high class business people? Man, I've been in the business twelve years. We done talked to every single type of person. Somebody selling, but like you remember um, the breading company, the uh, chicken breading. Yeah. I'm talking about chicken breading, skincare. <laughs> swimwear t-shirts underwear bro like we didn't we didn't talk about it all um let's see uh, i'm scrolling i'm scrolling no shopify audits actually we're gonna start rolling out shopify audits here soon so um we will be doing shopify audits um I'm actually partnering with a company that is does all of my websites they actually do shopify audits as well so we're gonna be we're gonna be rolling that out soon. Uh, let's see. What's your TikTok? Ecom Justin P. Oh, almost blocked somebody on accident. Uh, scrolling. Uh, what else? I'm trying to see. How many Instagram accounts do you have? Just one. Anything else is a scam. Uh, I'm scrolling. What do you mean by Shopify audits? That means like if you already have a store, someone will come in and look at your Shopify and make sure that you're doing things right. Let's see. Yes, it's okay to repost previous content. I, I come up with new content ideas. Like I just go on a website called answerthepublic.com. Give you a ton. They give you a ton of different things. Um, let's see. Uh... Yo, P. Smith shot you a DM. Oh, yeah, that's my dog. Let's see what else we got. All right. How often should you drop? That depends on the business. Typically for me, if you're newer, I would say dropping bi-monthly would be decent. And then trying to get to monthly drops. I even have homies and students that are doing weekly drops as well. Good social media posting app. Hootsuite, Later, Planoly, um, there's a ton. Let's see. How do you get paid for content? I don't get paid for content, but I have a, I have like, well, I guess I do. I have a, a, a coaching business and I also have a actual brand. So we make content and both the content makes money, you know, for both of those businesses. Is e-commerce the only way to go? There's a ton of stuff you can do. There's a ton of ways to do e-commerce. Print on demand, drop shipping, do it yourself, um, third party logistics companies, fulfillment centers. There's a ton of different ways. Amazon, like there's so many ways to make money online. Uh let's see. Having someone run your ads on fire, bad idea, bro. You gonna get what you pay for in this game, my brother. Let's see. Having a Valentine's Day drop, should I drop the day of or the day before? Definitely do it before. Let's see what else we got. How many colorways is considered too many? I will start with three to five if you're just starting. Is Fiverr trusted site one thousand percent? I use it for almost everything. Which do you make more money from, coaching or the brand? The brand, but coaching is um very lucrative as well. I have I have a lot of fun coaching too. Like I like teaching people, and they get a massive impact from it. Let's see what else we got. Um, looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be dope. Uh, is a team needed? I would say after you hit six figures, the team's definitely needed. Setting up pre-orders, I use that. I use a pre-order app on Shopify. Do you do SEO? I outsource it. Um, do you have a community inside the course? Yes, we do. How do you leverage ChatGPT? Um, I use it to just like give me different ideas for content. Um, I use it to like write ads sometimes. It's just like a a, a thought starter for me. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, there's a ton of places to get tech, pack, tech packs. I mean, you can get tech packs from Etsy. 
So like, there's a ton of different places. My boy Fuller Mo has a dope tech pack, uh, you know, joint. Like, there's a ton of different people that sell on community in the courses for show lit. Yo, tonight's call was lit. My boy P. Smith came in there flamed it. Went crazy. Uh, is my question getting blocked? No, it's just hundreds coming in, brother. <laughs> uh, do you like China, Pakistan, or Vietnam? I like China and Pakistan. I hear Vietnam's pretty cheap, though. Uh, what apps do you use? There's a ton of different apps that I use. My favorite apps, though, Klaviyo, SMS Bump, No Fraud, um, Back in Stock. Those are a few. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to say be patient. Right. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can help somebody out real quick before I get out of here. All right. Let's see if I can give some live coaching. See if we can help somebody out. Let's see what we got. Let's see if somebody's on set. Yo, yo. 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 Hey, what's going on, what's Justin? Going, hey, man. I, uh, I appreciate all the game that you've been giving out. I got the uh, last econ course, right. and it's already starting to change my life. So, hey, that's off top, I appreciate brother. that. I appreciate that. I had asked a question. You kind of touched on it, but I wanted you to go a little deeper. Sure. So, my question is... Uh, about the bank accounts, when you when you get money in, how do you split it up? Like, how much is going towards inventory? How much is going towards marketing? Can right. you touch on that a little bit more? Yeah, sure. So what we do is a little bit different, bro. So in the brand side, what we do is typically what you see is, like, about 20% 20, 20 of whatever revenue that you're projecting in your business you want to do 20 to 40% on advertising to be able to accomplish that revenue. So that also puts people in a better mindset. Yo, I want to make a million dollars this year. I, right, you're going to spend 200,000 on ads. Mm -hmm. So now it can kind of put that in perspective. Um, that's, that's one thing. Another thing that we do on the inventory side is we have products that we always keep in stock. We call it the uh, like evergreen. Uh, evergreen in OOS we call them never out of stock like that's what we call them and those are typically just our best sellers we, we always keep in stock everything else typically bro we're really doing pre-orders um, or we're ordering a small size run based on historic evidence that we've done so let's just say this year I want to come out with some mesh shorts I'm going to look back at what we did for some mesh shorts before last year and order inventory based on the pr the prior history that I have. And I'll typically undershoot it a little bit too. Inventory management, by far the hardest part of this game. But you you get better as it, at it as you keep going. So when if you're talking about how would you protect, I would talk, I would look at prior history. If you don't have any prior history, then I would do pre-orders. Gotcha. And worst come to worst, do a size run of like a couple of each size from small to 2X or 3X, wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. And then use those for advertising, you know, photo shoots, video shoots, et cetera. And then when you make some sales, ship those out and then go order from your manufacturer or, you know, whether it's screen printer that's local, manufacturer overseas, and just let people know that it's a pre-order, bro. All right. So, yeah, when I first started out, I was doing, like, customizable stuff, right? So I got a, a, a black father brand uh, called Daddy and Sense, and it started out with customizable T-shirts from when uh, men became fathers. Nice. And it's taken, it's taken off since then. Fire. And now I want to make it an actual clothing brand. So I'm looking at doing standardized products. So I have something called like the Cool Dads Club. That's my first design that's really hit. Fire. And uh, it's, been, it's been going hard. So this year I really want to focus on investing in the correct amount of inventory. And then once I start to get sales from there, how to divvy up that money. So you said like 20% of the projected revenue of what I want to do would go to ads. Yeah. 
and then do like pre-orders for the first batch. And then after the first batch sells out, historically how many I sold from the first batch, that's how I would go forward as far as. Yeah, 1000%. And, but the only thing is, is if, if this design is already selling well for you, mm -hmm. I would just look at the past three months of sales that you've had mm -hmm. and then just order inventory that is average of your last three months because you know you're gonna sell it already. So there's no point in making the customers wait for a pre-order. So you might as well just get stock because on average in the last three months, you're selling this amount. So it's not like you're shooting yourself in the foot. You are in a, tip, in a different place. You get a lot of sales. Most people are just getting started and they don't. If you got sales already, take the average of the last three months, buy the inventory. You're going to sell it no matter what. Anyways. Okay. All right. Bet. So funny thing, I had uh, sent you a message a while ago. Um, I did your what if uh, methodology. Uh, I saw, I watched the uh, interview with EYL, and I was like, what if Daddy and Sense saying support black colleges? <laughs> get a shirt together. And it was like support black dads. That's hard. And, and, and we rapped about it. He said you weren't, you weren't in the space right then. But hey, man, if you ever change your mind. No, nah, a thousand percent. That's dope, actually. So if you already made some like mock ups and stuff of it, shoot it over to me real quick and, and let me check it out. All right. I bet I'll do it now. Appreciate right. you. All right, brother. It's a pleasure, man. All right. Peace. Later. All right. That was great. That was great. Super good questions. Super good questions. Let's see if we can get somebody else in here to help them out. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's go here. We're just doing some live coaching. Just we just having fun with it. I'm going to get off here in probably like 10 minutes or so. Who do you recommend for business banking? I use Chase. What's going on, bro? Good, bro. What's good, bro? How can I help out? Two things, bro. First of all, man, thank you for sending me here. And, um, so I just, when I was on live with you and I went to go check out my logo, bro, I just lost all the files, cause mm -hmm. for my, for my logo, my logo. But um, I'm gonna show you like uh, the design I have. I just want to see, you, just want you to take a quick look at it, look at it and see um, if you like it. Yeah, I'm down to look at it, but I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say this, yeah. cause. People be asking me to like, you know, critique and look at look at things or whatnot, bro. It don't matter what I think, bro. God gave you the vision. Run the play if he gave you the vision. It don't matter what anyone thinks, bro. Sure. So you can show it to me for sure if you want. For sure, for sure. Let me get it for you real quick. Give me one second right here. But yo, thank you for spinning the game, bro. You really motivating me to go harder, bro. And like, no just keep doing it, man. It's a lot of game, bro. I got a smash screenshot saved up and everything. <laughs> That's like, good. It's crazy. That's uh, good. Uh, and you said you had two questions, yeah? So why don't we do the second one while you find your logo? I was in two questions. I was just saying that, that what happens. This is a logo right here that I was going to have. It's for progress. So my clothing brand is called Progress. It's to ensure, sorry, it's to make everyone um be inspired to like better themselves and stuff like that. So. And um, one of the mock-ups, I have right now, or like I'll show you the logo for it. Sure, it's right here. Mm. Uh, allow your stuff to grow right here. All right, so, uh, Dude, I want to see. I would like this. Well, whenever you do it, DM mm -hmm. me like um, a mock up of it so like I can get a real, uh, like you know, idea of what it would look like. But as of right now, it's looking, it's looking good. Appreciate it, man. Yo, that's it for now, but I have a good one though. All right, brother, stay up. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. She what else we got. She wants to get the question answered. Yeah, the logo is pretty clean. The logo is pretty clean. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, I need to add some um some some divine feminine energy in here. But uh, I just added another gentleman and uh, we'll go for some ladies next. Hey, what's going on? Yo, yo. Oh brother. <laughs> hey brother, how you feeling? I'm doing Doing great, brother. How can I help out? All right, thank you. First of all, first time caller, long time fan, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I wanted to ask you. I blew up uh, in the chat room though, but with uh, people who have their own store, a lot of stuff jumps off. A lot of stuff to try to handle. Uh, other than other than sales, what analytics do you value the most, and what type? What are the top three or five things that you we should concentrate on, other than increasing sales, but to make the shop run smoothly? I heard you mention Clavio and some other apps, but those are, are some, those are just are a few. Apps? Those are just a few apps. The numbers that I'm typically looking at is your cost of goods sold, super important. Um, another thing, there's typically three things that you can do to actually like make a business grow. 
you know, one, you can increase the average order value or the lifetime value of a customer. Very important to look at. Another thing that you can increase, and we talked about this today uh, in, in the coaching class, um, you can increase your, uh, or excuse me, decrease your cost per acquisition or your cost per lead or your cost per, per a hundred, or excuse me, a thousand, you know, impressions on your advertisements. Anything that is charging you money to get people to your site, mm -hmm. decreasing that is going to help out a ton. Um, increasing your average order value, which we talked about, and then also increasing your conversion rate. Most people want to spend more money. Like if I would say, yo, what's your idea of like making more money? Like what would you do? All right, well, I'm spending 10000 a month on ads right now. I'm going to kick it up to 20000 a month. And I'm like, no, that's the wrong answer because there's free things that you can do to increase the amount of revenue that you make. Let's just say your conversion rate is at 1%. We make a few tweaks on the website, get it to two. You just doubled your business for free. So yeah. those are three to four kind of metrics that I, that I typically am paying attention to. Okay, definitely. I appreciate that. And real quick, I know yeah. you're trying to get off, but click funnels. I'm yeah. a little confused with all of it. Can you go into a little more detail about it? You don't have to do it while I'm on here. But no, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind. So click funnels, something totally different than um, Shopify. So if you have a physical product business, I typically use Shopify. If you have a digital product business, I typically use ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels is more so, in my opinion, for coaches, course creators, you know, content creators, consultants, etc. cetera. Um, so that's, that's kind of the separation there. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you, brother. You keep right. it up. No, no worries, brother. Thank you so much. All right. I'll show you what else we got. I love that. I love that. Let's see what we got. Should we can get a few more people helped out real quick? See if we can get. Uh, let's see who we got. Let's see if we can get Cassie in here. Let's see who we got. Hey, Cassie, hey. what's up? So I have two questions. Sure. Sure. One is, say I do the pre-order and the manufacturer requires like. 50 orders before they do anything say my pre-order only gets like five sales mm -hmm. like what do i do in that situation with the people that order but the manufacturers ask for a certain amount i typically don't work with manufacturers that have a specific moq um for pre-orders i typically will work with someone that is a little bit more lenient and there's manufacturers out there that would do it so even my guy like he'll do 10 pieces five pieces like okay cool and my other question was i know you do the chanelli patches so should I do a company that puts it together for me or should I do the sweatsuit separate and then do like your company and buy the Chanel patches? Cause I have a heat press machine already. It depends. So it, it depends on a few things more so like what amount of physical labor do you want to do as well as the amount of profit that you want to make. If you do it yourself, you're going to make more profit because you're not going to be spending that cost in labor and you'll be able to do it yourself. If you are, gonna have someone make it all and then let's just say send it to a third party logistics company to ship it out or send it to you so that you can ship it out um it just depends on the level of profit that you want and the l amount of physical labor that you want to put in so mm -hmm. me personally i've been in a place where we had 30 employees making hoodies and all of this nonsense um i personally like to just have stuff sent to me done and then we ship it out from there okay no it's one more question Sure. Okay, as far as the like the LLC and setting up a business account. So right now I'm located in Jersey, but I'm planning to move it to Georgia within this okay. year. So should I set everything up here or should I wait until I get to Georgia? I would say this because I would my my team would literally murder me if I gave you any legal advice. So I would just say to I I use a young lady named Rosetta. DM me, I'll shoot you her number. And I use another young lady. Her name is um, Instagram is the Biz Lawyer. And I would say just to consult with one of them if you're about to make a legal decision because uh, I'm not qualified to give you that answer. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Justin. No worries. Okay. Appreciate all the game. I all have right. like a thousand tree boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I'm glad I can help out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right, let's see what we could do. Let's do. Let's do five more minutes and then we out of here so let's see if we can help somebody real quick let's see if we can help somebody real quick yeah 
people you use for taxes. I use a dude named Gary, my white boy, man. He's a good guy. And I use a young lady also. Her name is Morgan. She's actually located in Atlanta. A black woman business, black woman owned business. She's dope. All right, let's see. He's not answering. Let me see if we can get somebody else in the building real quick. All right, All right let's see. We can go here. All right, all right. Let's see, I'm adding people. Yo, yo, yo. Hi, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? How can I help out? I really have two questions. But the sure, main one is, I'm trying to trademark my logo. Okay. And I'm having a little trouble getting started. Did you go through um, maybe a lawyer or did you do it yourself? Nah, I use the I use this girl. Her name is um the Rosetta. So if you DM me, I'll shoot her a contact. Okay, so same same person from the the last question was asked. Exactly. Okay, got you. And um, do you do your um? Because I have a manufacturer I'm trying to work with now. Do you are, are they located or your is your manufacturer located in the U.S. or because mine's in Pakistan? I I was a little risky. Nah, Hello, that, you know. That's fine. Yeah, no, it's no worries. I use I use them from all over Pakistan, China, US, okay. all over the place. So, you know, typically most of the manufacturers are actually in Pakistan and China. So I wouldn't okay. think that that's too risky. Okay, okay. I was just this is my first time actually outsourcing. I usually do it myself. Right. So I was right. a little little shaky on what I should do, but right. I've been watching you and every I've been taking in everything I've been seeing and. It's been great. I'm not gonna lie. That's good. So, I'm glad um, I can help out. Thank you, thank you. But I'll definitely DM you okay. for that. because uh, I that's my main thing. I'm trying to trademark my logo for somebody grabs it. No, I get you. No worries. I'm glad I can help out. Thank you so much. All right, later. Have a good night. You too. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see. Any manufacturers in LA you suggest? I use big printing. Big printing. Let's see who else we got in the building. Um, let's do let's do two more. Let's do two more. Then we out of here. Let's see what we got. I tried to accept you, Walkstar, bro. You didn't wanna you didn't wanna chop it up, man. Let's see what else we got. Yo yo. Hey. Hey, what's up? How are you? You call me Eden. I had to, I'm doing had to get myself standing. together. I'm all right. How are you? Good. Um. Okay. So I have like a million questions sitting here, but the thing, the things that are most important for me is what is the easiest way to find my customers with a low budget, as well as um, mm -hmm. how is like what are the keys to running Facebook ads? I keep trying and they come back and they say yeah. like. I'm not going to get enough results. If it's saying that, it's reach. probably because your spend isn't high enough, which is, you know, which is, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, me and, man, I was just doing a training on this today, actually. So I would say that one of your, the best thing that you can do is um, do a giveaway campaign that uh, for, for your, mm -hmm. your Facebook ads. Typically, people are trying to, like, just run cold ads to a website and then get a return on that right. spend. I probably would actually do a giveaway campaign mm. and I, I would go into the structure of that, but I would probably put everyone to sleep in here. So <laughs> uh, maybe you do, uh, maybe do a little research on, you know, uh, there's probably a ton of different trainings and whatnot on Google. If not, shoot me a DM. I'd love to help out however I can, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I would say that. And then also, okay. uh, you know, like you said, as far as not being able to get enough reach, it's probably mm -hmm. you're not spending enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Would you say like it has to be at least a certain amount of money, or um, it just depends on I what would your say is? If you aren't comfortable going into it, spending five hundred bucks a month at least, you know, and I want to mm -hmm. say actually like fifteen hundred mm -hmm. to three thousand, then mm -hmm. exactly. So, but, and that's the thing. <laughs> so that's why I say. Okay. I don't even I don't even want people to like think about paid ads until they have like done organic content and they have you know mm -hmm. taken that to a, a like a place of where they're consistent mm -hmm. there and making a consistent cash flow and then they're like you know what all right let's start putting some money behind the stuff that's already working. Okay, 
And and you see that organic content actually does create conversions because I heard somewhere before that you should more so focus on email lists as well, opposed to content. Well, content definitely get you getting converted. people conversions one thousand percent. Um, I think that building an email okay. list in Texas is extremely vital, but you do that by driving your content to your website, having an email pop up, text pop up, etc. Mm. Um, I recommend an app called Wheelio. Uh, it's one of my okay. favorites on Shopify. Wheelio. What was what yeah. was it? And um, Wheelio. You gather your customer's okay. email and phone number there, and and then you can okay. you know market to them in the future uh, once you grab their you know their their information. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm okay no worries all right all right thank you <laughs> i appreciate you doing this seriously i i joined your course maybe like a month or two ago and i was like telling all my friends like go screen record this go make sure you have the information so we have no it later worries. take some notes really so thank you thank you for doing it <laughs> all take right care. let's see what we got i'm starting to get tired man let's see what we got i'm starting to get tired Man, let's see, man, so many requests. What do I do? What do I do? Let's see what we got here. 21, can you do some for me? Yo. What up, what up, family? What's going on, bro? How can I help out? Hi, um, first, thanks for your content, brother. You're very, very knowledgeable, very helpful. Thank so you. thank you. Just want to let you know about that. Number one, Thank number you. two. Um, all right, so I'm I, I'm more of like an artistic person, so I would like to draw out. You know, I'm gonna get into making my platform into a clothing brand as well. Hey, um, brother, do me a favor. I can barely hear you. If you want to, you want to shoot me a DM because I think it's a little loud. I can barely hear anything. All right, brother. Thank no you. No worries, brother. I'll, I'll promise you, I'll get to get to you and answer your question. I just can't really hear. Thank Later. You. Have a good night. You too. Man, I couldn't hear. Uh, it's unfortunate, but I'll make sure I answer that brother's question. I want to make sure that he's solid. Let's see what else we got. I think I was talking to this dude the other day. Let's see. Ooh, my eyes started twitching. I'm tired, y'all. What's up? Hey, my boy. <laughs> Getting in touch with you. What's going on, man? What's 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 you got some good news for me, brother? What's going on? Yes, after we talk, I set up two classes for March, sold out in two days only. I posted it. There you go. That's what's that's, up, brother. That's at least twenty k for the classes. Hey, man. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm after that, I might do like three or four more, so I can boost it up to like forty to fifty thousand. Yeah. But after we talk, I consider everything. But I'm gonna still do it on person. But I'm I'm consider consi my my Bengali just That's sucks it. sometimes. But I'm it? trying to do it online, right. like online, like like we talk. But I'm gonna do it on person. I did like a like a video online. It went great. So That's what's yeah. up, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, plus you know, I, I still have on Facebook like like a hundred thousand followers. So that helps me with that. Right. You know, if I didn't have it, those followers from that content, I, I mean, I wouldn't get it done. Right. No, so, I get you. you know, hearing a lot of people's content and, you know, and the spending, it's really good to do it organic. Like you said at the beginning, right. I, I, me, I never paid for an ad before, like right. to get advertised. I, everything I do is organic. So it's really good to start organic. And later on, like you said, paid if it's worth it, right. you know, it's, right. it's really right. good. I when when you start when you start doing these free classes, bro, I can't wait to see how yeah. much money you're gonna make, bro. Look, yeah. bro, hit me up, bro. I wanna lock in with you and show you the 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 wonderful profits that you're missing out on, bro. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm start. I mean, I'm still starting little by little, but I, yeah. I ain't mad at you. You're making progress, brother. I ain't mad at yeah, you. Yeah, no, I'm little, little by little, but it's still, you know, for for a class. It's not bad, but like you said, I could do way, way more and way better. No, you know? hey, you, you, you're working towards the goal, so I'm not mad at you. So, what do you, do you have any questions today, or did you want to just update me? Or yeah, what are you just, thinking? just an update. Okay, man. that's the only way. It's an update. So, man, thank you and keep going. Thank you for the game, bro. Hey, right, man, you do the All same, right. brother. I'm gonna be tapping in and watching you. All right, peace out, man. Later, brother. Oh my guy, he's doing his thing.
He's doing his thing. He said, hey, he said, yeah, we went on live and then 20K, 40K, thank you. He said, I'm trying to go to the 60 ball. I ain't mad at him. All right, last one, and we're going to get up out of here. Um, maybe one or two more. I feel bad leaving people out. Let's see what we got. Let's go here. Let's see what we got. And then I'm going to get out of here. Yo, yo. Hello. Hey, what's up? How can I help out? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, I can hear you. How can I help out? Quick question. Okay. So I have a shirt brand. Well, I pretty much design things that I like and I get sales, no problem. I'm a busy mom. So what advice do you have for busy moms to mm. pretty much get content together? and push out more content because i think that's my issue that's a great question that's a great question so a few things number one highly recommend that you follow this young lady her name's ellie talks money she's uh okay. she's a good friend of mine she has four kids and she is a full-time entrepreneur doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a month and she gives she puts content out about how she you know how she manages her lifestyle etc cetera, etc cetera. so I always found that if I can, you know, be inspired by Ellie, she got four kids, just got married, and she's putting out three to five pieces of content on the day-to-day -day basis. So definitely someone that you want to follow. Okay. Number two, excuse me, is um, I had to realize this, is that other people's content ideas and strategies didn't really work that well for me. So I had to do what actually worked for me. So what worked for me was figuring out what pieces and aspects of my lifestyle were already content, but I wasn't looking at them as if they were content. So for me, I try my best to read every single day. And I realized that I was writing notes in my book, but I was not speaking the notes that I had out. They just lived and died in the books that I read. Right. So instead of just writing them down, I started to say them to camera. And then that was like pieces of content. Um, I started to just like record almost <laughs> almost everything that I was doing. Right. So I would say this. And that's for too. Go ahead. That's my thing too. Like I feel like naturally that's how I am. So naturally I'll just set the camera up and that's when I feel like I get the best content where it's just organic and I'm just in a chill vibe and I'm screen printing because I do everything myself pretty much and I mean I don't pride myself on that, but that's just my situation. Right. Work. So I had the screen print machine, I had the peak press. Um, I do. I have all my links. I have my packaging together. Right. So I know that, that my shit is. I know that my stuff is dope. You know. What right. I mean? But I think that um, the value that I'm getting right now, I don't want to overwhelm myself. But I know God will eventually give me that value when I'm able to bloom the way I need to. Mm -hmm. But I, I need to kind of figure out like a set schedule on. Um, yeah. It depends. Depends on the type of person that you are. For me personally, I like to make one piece of content per day. That's just work, what's worked for me. I know people that will take a Saturday or a Sunday out because they can give the kids to grandma, whatever it may be, and then just batch out two weeks worth of content. So I think it's more so trying out different things that are different content strategies that may work for you and then seeing which one plays into your strengths. Me personally, making a piece of content per day works. I was before making 20 pieces of content in one day, but it was really tiring for me personally. Right. So I would say for you, look at all the different strategies, test out different strategies, see which one works for you. But moral of the story though, is I'm always looking for new content ideas though. So every day I carve out a specific time like an hour a day to just research content ideas and to make a long list so whether i am making a piece of content that day i already had a list that i can draw from and just make it real quick or i take a weekend and just make a ton of stuff and then post it all uh you know the in the next few days or weeks now just one more question i'm gonna let please, you go please. i know whatever normally time it's not broken it doesn't need to if it's not broken you don't need to go fix it so sometimes things is up and running the way it is now you have um like not anything again like 
I pretty much design what I feel like comes to my mind. So I don't have a specific target market as far as like designs go. So my focus is kind of premium tees, premium soft cotton mm -hmm. tees and my kind of my, my flow is, but it's not like particularly like I'm selling um, a Christian brand right. or, or anything now down to that specific, yeah. but I, I have problems. Yeah. I mean, I would say this, like, if you are you running any paid ads right now no. no no so you know it depends man because typically what i would say is that you do want to have a, like some sort of niche um because you know typically you see like the riches are in the niches if you're able to target someone then you're able to you know extract capital from them because the most leverageable businesses have four things one they have a growing like a growing audience like year over year so let's just say hbcu attendance it's going up year over year that's leverageable in my business number two they have they're easy to target so if you don't have a easy tar easily targetable audience that takes away from the leverage that you have in your business um number three they have a pain point Typically, the bigger the pain point, the more profit that you can make from it. Just, you know, is what it is. Um, and then uh, year over year growth, it's pain point, um, easy to target. And then they have the money available to purchase because I saw this one dude, he was like, um, easy to target his audience. Um, they had a pain point because they didn't have a job because he was teaching people how to boost their resumes and make more money in their business or in, in just in life. Um, but then he realized that they didn't have money because they didn't have jobs. And he was trying to teach people to, you know, make resumes that didn't already have jobs to pay for what he was doing. So in your case, I would say once you start to get more aspects of traffic coming besides organic content, you're probably going to run into, uh, you know, you needing to be more specific in your targeting um as of right now it's probably working because you know you're doing your thing but as you grow stuff? you say what can i show you some stuff please <laughs> nice i like that mm -hmm. this one too i made this one with entrepreneur on it that's hard this is oh, cool. entrepreneur. that's hard thank you and i got i mean you, i think you do kind of have a, a vibe I, though I, Bob, I got a Bob going on, and like I said, they have no problem with paying. So I know I'm a marketing and business management student. So I've been graduated a long time ago. Right. Um, I've owned other businesses as well, but um, what's your what's the website? Go on, oh, get some real quick. Check it out. The shirt room. That's dope. Yeah, shirtroom.com. Let me see. Oh, fuck. my computer's low battery. I might I might die in a minute. I'm gonna check it out though real quick. Okay, so. Like I said, it, it definitely has a little vibe that I had because I do kids too. So I do kids in this sex. So I try to keep everything real aesthetically pleasing. And then I also have another section where it's kind of like the little, the good stuff with the stickers. I do stickers and I sell little nicks and knacks as well to kind of add in that value of those little missing pieces to kind of level up the sale, get those in between. So, um, the style looks pretty dope too. Thank you. And I do, I mean, not like I said, not to pride myself on that, but I do everything myself because that's what. It, I am right now, so um. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Work, you know. You know? I don't. This is. Know if you're mobile optimized yet, though. Let's see. Well, that's another conversation for another day. But no, that's what's up. I, I actually do like yourself. I think you have more of a vibe than you actually think that you do. Um, but you know, I've seen I've seen more general stores do well, but typically as of right now, I don't usually suggest it. Okay. Just my opinion, because I would say this. This is a good thing to think about. I'm sure that 80% of your sales comes from 20% of your inventory. I'm sure that, like, there's a few different styles that are making you the most money. Oh, yeah, definitely. And in between that, sometimes what the other issue is, is that um, I get customers as well. So that kind of, I want to continue getting my customers. Mm. But listen, listen, let me tell you. Listen, just listen, I'm listen, listening. listen. Listen, when I get custom orders, that kind of gives me that big bulk, you know, within, it could be a custom order for like, like for, for, um, a kid's birthday party, just saying, you know, I get that 
big bulk at that one time, but then it kind of throws me off with. This is the thing. I'm hoping that you came here. Oh. I understand. And I'm listening to you. I promise I hear you. I'm hoping that you come here to get some information from someone that has seen this happen okay. over 12 okay. years time. I'm in the that's game. why I tapped in because I never, I never request nothing. I said, let me see, you know, I'm definitely here for the value. So, so I will tell you this, being in that game 12 years in, which is crazy to say, I have seen this story multiple times, okay. multiple, multiple times always happens whether it's someone who has their own business that they're making stuff for themselves then doing stuff for other people they have a print shop where oh i got a brand but also i print for like other people on the side as well they net they always tell themselves that yo i'm gonna stop printing for other people and do this and that and i'm gonna focus on myself it never happens mm -hmm. and the reason why is because they get they kind of get trapped in this race of all right the big bulk kind of pays for it, like the bills and then like the my stuff kind of like does its thing but like i need the bulk stuff to like pay for the bills and whatnot and i always tell them like there's a few there's two things that you got to do one thing whatever input that you're putting in to the content that you're putting out right now to get sales to your personal business you probably need to times it by 10. that's going to bring you a lot more traffic and revenue on your actual brand and then you will no longer you will be able to wean yourself off of the production company because unless you are actually like in love with producing for other people and that was like your main goal then i wouldn't do i would like slowly wean yourself off of it and or number two is get that company to a place where it does a certain amount in revenue and then just be like, I'm not gonna grow it anymore. And I'm gonna put all of my attention into my actual brand of business. If you don't do that, I guarantee you we'll talk in a year, two years from now, and you will be doing the exact same thing you're doing now. Gotcha. It's just the truth. I, I'm talking like- I'm, li I'm listening, I'm open ears, I'm respecting what you're saying. I appreciate you taking my call. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I hope that you, I hope that you, you know, you hear me. And mind you, I'm not like, I'm not trying to be like rude, condescending, like anything. <laughs> I'm just, I've seen this movie at least 20 times, okay. and I'm just telling you what happens every single time. So I hope that this, the you know, I hope that you, you know, hear me and you take the information. I appreciate it. Thank you so no much. No worries. It was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Thank you. Later. Man. It's the truth. I'm so glad uh, that she was able to, um, you know, able to come in and hear me and hopefully she you know she took what i was saying you know it's tough it's tough because this is the thing this is what typically happens there's folks that get stuck in this one place where few things happen there's people that are like yo i want to help a lot of people right then there's people that are like i want to have the biggest and best business and what you have to make a decision and if you make a decision to be the best business, then you have to realize that you, so, it's so tough. So, all right, I'm gonna, so, so thank you, do, do, do. All right, so look, this is the thing. Three routes you can go. Be the best business person ever, and just know that you're gonna sacrifice a lot going along that, that journey. And once you get there, you will be able to stop at a certain number and then, put all of your attention into all of the other things that you care about. Number two, you can be in the middle. Give some of your time to the causes and things that you wanna help, other time into business, but you will never be the best business person that there was, and you have to be okay with that. Or three, give all of your time to the things that you want to help the world and help everything and et cetera, but you'll never be the best business person. And you will spend all of your time focusing on helping people and loving people and et cetera, which is great, but you'll never be able to fulfill that potential of being the best business person. So you have three choices. My choice that I made personally for myself was focus as much on the business as possible, make a ton of money doing it, hit a specific number, and then spend the rest of my time just helping as many people as possible. So um, that was my decision because um, I wanted to be the best. And I also want to help a lot of people. So 
I've seen that story happen so, so many times where people are stuck in the middle and they're helping people, they're doing their thing, but then they like do the business too and they never are able to be the best in business and they're never able to help people to the capacity that they want to. But it's okay if you if you make that conscious decision, then 1000% not mad at you. Um, it's just the game. So I just seen that happen so many times where people have print shops and they print for other people and then they have a brand and the brand does well, but then a print order comes in and then they got to fulfill that and then the brand falls off. So I say for me personally, wean yourself off of the other thing that you're doing, double and triple down on what is you truly want to do and then set a number for once this business does this, I'm done and then go from there. Because otherwise from that, you will be doing that forever. It is what it is. I, okay, I literally have to go. And I'm leaving here at 12.30. Somebody hold me accountable. I'm gonna leave here at 12.30. I'm gone, somebody hold me accountable. Let me ask her a few more questions though. Hopefully I can help some people out. Yo, Yo. hey, what up my boy? Good to see Damn, you, bro. Was good, I ain't seen you in a minute. I know, man. Everything all right with you. How good man. to see all your success, bro. Everything you got going on. Everything's solid, bro. Everything's solid, man. You heard about Frank, bro? Yeah. Yeah, man. I was. I went to the funeral. We uh, did some little stuff for us. Okay, no. I had sent, the, yeah. I had sent a few things down for him. I wasn't able to make it, but damn, bro. It's good to see you, bro. Hey, same, brother. Hey, man. You you, you got you dropping jewels on your brother. <laughs> nah, I'm Look, sorry. To... This is what I wanted to talk to you about, brother. Yeah. Uh, so I got a clothing store online, though. You know what I'm saying? So no clothes and not, um, what I'm really in search of is vendors. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's the best way to go about this? What type go of about finding, Huh? Like urban of? gear. I need urban bro, gear. Just, At first. Just hit me, bro. I, I'll send you. You, Bro, we've been knowing each other for too long, bro. I, whatever you need, just hit me. I got you. Man, and that's love, brother. <laughs> Hey uh, man, I'm gonna get out your way then. Look, I'm about to be on my <laughs> hey, nah, no cap though. <laughs> and I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you keep spitting what you're spitting. Nah. I'm paying attention. <laughs> For sure. Hey, I swear to God, bro, DM me and I'll make sure I'll personally like take care of it, bro. And I'll send you like, you know, the best of the best people that I use and shit, bro. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Man, and that's love, right. bro. Man, keep right, doing your thing, man. I'm watching you do it, man. I'm finna DM you right now. All right, that's a bet. For sure. All right, later. My boy, man. Damn, that's crazy, bro. I ain't chopped it up with my boy in a minute, bro. All right, let's see. All right. Everybody that's that's jumping in, do me a favor and just, you know, if you can, go straight into your question um, so that I can maximize the time because I'm going to stay on for seven more minutes. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to add a few people. Hey, what's going on? Hi. Hey, how are you? Very good. Uh, so my question is, like, I'm ready to start my business. I'm ready to jump in. But I'm in the middle of, like, I'm, I'm really, like, streetwear, high fashion. Like, I'm not really trying to do a fast fashion. So that's where I'm stuck at. I don't know, like, really which way to go. Because I know how to sew. I know how to make it. But I, I don't know how to scale it or like where to start i'm thinking of dropping like merch to get my name out there but i don't want to get stuck in the merch like vortex what do you want to do i have like i have five collections drawn out already i have to like source the fabric and then make them but i'm thinking of like going half manufacturing half of it and then like um finishing them off to what i want in the collection I mean, like, but what, I'm type like of, very, what type of brand, like, do you want to have? Like, do you want to do, like, urban? Do you want to do high fashion streetwear? Like, what yeah. Are you like, high I'm from New York, so I want the high fashion streetwear, like, the flashy. Like, yeah. I want it that is, you could wear it outside and not look stupid, but it's not, you're not buying it from no regular store. So maybe help me out, because I'm, I'm not hearing the issue. What's What's the problem? I don't know, like, where to start. Do I start, like, with merch? Because my name is not out there. Like, I, I don't want to just... I I don't know, like, I'm sewing it all, so I don't know how many pieces to sew. Like, do I sew, like, five of this piece? Like, I don't have... Oh, well, I'm I just starting. That might be the issue. Probably what I would do if I were you, honestly, 
is I would sew like the first few samples and whatnot, and then I'd send it out to get it made. It's going to take a little time because I'm sure, you know, just from your vibe, you seem to be pretty, pretty particular about what you're going to be putting out there, which is perfectly fine. But I would make the first samples yourself, send them out to a manufacturer, either China, Pakistan is probably going to be the best deal for you and like be able to upkeep what you're trying to do as far as quality and then see who can match more, what you have or even make what you have better and then like go to market and not think too much about it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm an overthinker. So that's definitely my problem. It's just I'm overthinking the whole aspect because then, you know, you see online everybody's starting, but everybody's T-shirts and sweat, you know, I'm not doing that at all. I'm very like i want to like really yeah. like kind of dress yeah. celebrities but you don't, you don't have to be a celebrity if you got the money for it you know yeah, you don't, i don't want to do like it. just custom orders i want it's like collections like i have my collections all set i just have to produce yeah, them nah, I, mean, I think you just you putting that belief on yourself like you can start with whatever you want just because other people are starting with t-shirts hoodies whatever like I got a homie that started straight out the gate trying to compete with Louis Vuitton. Like, you can start wherever you want. All right. Thank you. You, <laughs> no you gave me, you know, that boost. <laughs> Thank <laughs> exactly. you. Have a good night. You too. <laughs> Peace out. Nah, and that's, that's actually good because a lot of folks, like, they be, like, so worried about what other people will think or, like, you know, whatever they feel like they should start with. But at the end of the day, bro, just just get it going. I say this, like, get it going then get it right get it going first then get it right and you can start with whatever you you know wherever you want all right let's do like maybe two more we don't got that much time left all right let's go here let's go here uh, 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 uh. yo hi thank you so much for dropping some knowledge yeah no uh, uh, i'm not not making clothes, um, but I do want to help uh, more brands uh, market their clothing through okay. their, like modeling or through your digital fashion. Um, do you have a suggestion for people who are trying to help uh, brands like on, on your platform? Oh, yeah. I mean, for me personally, I probably I'm the type that just like I'll give away my best stuff for free. So I would just say like help a bunch of people like and get a bunch of testimonials or like case studies from people and then utilize those case studies to then go charge someone else like that was one of the big things that i did when i first got started in my digital marketing business was like i'll go to all of the restaurants in the local area and like do something that was free or like very well i would say free and didn't take a ton of time for me to do and then i'll be like yo here's an animated version of your logo or an updated version of your logo and i'll do that for 100 people yo i'll give it to you just give me a testimonial 100 testimonials for what i did go to the next 100 yo i just did 100 joints for all of these other places that you are in competition with or that you know etc and i only charge x y and z for it but I'll give you a discount of whatever it may be, whatever discount you want to get. And then the next batch of people, you keep raising your price, et cetera. So I would say for you, when it comes to service-based businesses, just reach out to a ton of people. I'd say probably 10 per hour. Um, and then give away something that is easy and fast for you to do. And then get a testimonial and then go to the next group of people and start charging. And then from there, if you do good service, then, uh, you know, word will spread. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Hope that helped out. For sure. Thank you so much. Nah, no I'll let worries. you. All right. Let's see if we can sneak one more in real quick. The good old give the game for free testimonial backdoor play. Been running that one for a while. My little thing went off. All right, last one. Last one, last one, last one. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm going to just pick randomly. All right. All right. Last one. I know I'm going to go. Last one. I just click randomly. Yo, Yo Justin, what did you do? Last person of the day, my brother. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, man. Hey, look, much blessings because I'm in a uh, predicament right now. 
look, I got everything all in the living room. Nice. So I know that. I'm thinking about moving to a, a warehouse. I'm from LA. Okay. So we, I'm thinking about moving to um, a warehouse in downtown. Mm -hmm. um, only problem, it's a huge risk I'm about to take because it's me. Basically, I'm all in. So mm -hmm. I'm asking, like, I've been. I've been doing this in my living room for about four, four going on five years. Wow. And I realized the value of uh, setting it apart your work and where you rest your head at because now it's chaos. Like, I can't even lay down on my couch. Yeah. Hey, I, <laughs> I know, bro. Look, so first of all, let me tell you this. I've been in, I've been in this situation, my brother. Yeah. So I know, I know how it go down. And I know that, you know, where you at right now, um, your current situation is not your final destination, brother. So don't even worry about that. Yeah. But, I will say this, bro. Um, one, I wouldn't jump into it. Well, first of all, what is the revenue looking like on the monthly? And if you don't feel comfortable sharing, by all means, we can talk about it in the DMs. But I'm saying that because I'm trying to get an idea of the free cash flow that you have to allocate towards possibly getting a warehouse. Me personally, I wouldn't make that decision. I would probably go into a third party logistics company and have them shipping my stuff for me because they're only going to charge you once they pick pack and ship something rather than having to pay for warehouse fee staffing fee etc i probably wouldn't take that risk especially if you already feel like you're in a, a position where you're about to take a big job okay okay because that's basically where i'm at like i can get the warehouse and we got approved i, I signed the application but like some do it, bro. Are like bro I'll be, it'd be just enough like just I'll enough I wouldn't do it bro the reason i say that i've been in this exact situation so please hear me when i'm okay. saying this okay. it's one when you get in a warehouse more than likely you're gonna have to get a three-year lease minimum yeah. three to five years that's just a long commitment to make to have overhead monthly when business goes up and down you don't know what's gonna happen six months from now let alone 12 months from now i would say this bro i would say I would say go to a 3PL, bro. Like, take all the stuff that you have yeah. and ship it to a logist like a third-party logistics company and have them store everything for you. Yeah. And then continuously now use the space that you have to, like, go go content crazy. Yeah. And then and then let them do all of the hard work. Let them pay for the, the warehousing. Let them pay for the staff. You just pay when somebody buys something to ship it out to them, bro. Okay. I'm gonna take that vice heavy, man. Bro, I just want to show you real quick, man. Just, just, just the work, man. Oh no, nah, you're, 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 bro. Come on, bro. Just the work. Right, man. Man. Are you out of your goddamn mind? This is hard. Look, I'm a designer. I make this all in my living room. Oh uh, yeah, bro. Bro, trap it out in the living God's room, kingdom. bro. Trap it out in the living room as long as possible, okay. bro. But man, I'm going to my fifth. Do, yeah, I need to get up out of here. I get it, bro. But this is the thing. You. This, bro, please listen to me, bro. Literally, I what I want you to do, trap it out in the living room yeah. for as long as possible. I know that you're ready to get out of there, but I want you to increase your input of content, bro. I want you to be, before you leave the living room, I want you to be at three to five pieces of content a day on TikTok. Your yeah. stuff is going to go hard, bro. You got a good product. Stack up. Your, don't be so fast to take the cash that you got and go put yourself in a difficult situation. Yeah. Three, three to five pieces of content a day for at least 90 days straight and be solid on that. And then think about going to go get something or like move out or whatever. But bro, you got a good product. You're not putting in, in enough input. That's my intuition right now. Yeah. And then yeah. once you kick up that to three to five day, three to five pieces per day, I guarantee yeah. you things are going to look extremely different for me for you in 90 days. And then you can actually make a decision of, do I want to utilize this money to go get a, like overhead in a warehouse? Still don't yeah. think that it's a good decision unless you are the type of person that wants to own and operate a warehouse, totally different conversation. But if you don't want to manage 5, 10, 15, 30 people, if you don't feel that you are the best at operations, that's yeah. not the right decision for you. Bro. Yeah, like for me, I, I wasn't going to um, do like, I'm, I'm not marketing me manufacturing. It's just for me to expand my my, my brand. No, I, God's no, but this is the thing though. When you want to expand the brand, let's just say you, if you plan on expanding, then you want to get a warehouse space. You are going to need 
employees to ship packages, customer service, all of these things. What I'm saying is, is that if you aren't the type of person that specializes or wants to specialize in the operations, day-to-day -day operations of a business, yeah, don't go get a warehouse because that is not the right move for you. If yeah. you're someone that is a designer that is dope with making, you know, merchandise and like can put this shit together, et cetera, focus all in on that, the content, yeah. the designs and triple your efforts there. Yeah. And then give the middle piece of production and fulfillment and all of that to the professionals. You yeah. focus on customer experience and making quality shit and nothing else, bro. Yeah. That's fast. Trust me, bro. I've been, bro. I didn't, bro. I didn't. This, this situation that you're in right now, I've made millions of dollars, lost it all, made millions of dollars again, lost it all making the wrong decision in the place that you're at is a very vital point and very vital place do not make the wrong decision okay even offering like private shopping appointments bro, bro, that's not gonna move the needle in the business bro it's not scalable yeah okay hey man i, I appreciate the time man thank you for hearing that's me good. out uh i'm gonna see you again in person bro because i'm out here in hollywood la and we non-stop this is every day i sacrifice everything nah, for bro. this I believe in you, bro. You got a dope product. Send me some stuff. I would love to support, yeah. bro. Yeah, please, man. Like the, the whole mission is to glorify God through garments. That's my mission statement. Fire. God's kingdom is to glorify God through Fire. garments. That's fire. Fire. That's I my, love it, brother. And some purpose. Let's let's stay connected. I want to support however I can. Thank you. Please, Thank you. please listen to me on this one. I didn't felt the pain for all of us on that one, bro. Facts, man. I I I hope everybody else can can take a gem out of that. And it may you inspire it inspire you guys to just get out the living room. Hey, there you go. All right, brother. It's a pleasure meeting you. Appreciate you, Justin. I'm gonna hit you, bro. All right, later. Love. Love. Man, that was dope, brother. That was a great one to end off on. So all right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm seven minutes over. It is what it is. I gotta give the value to the people. Um, I'm gonna head out. You get you guys gave me your time, you gave me your attention today. I'm super grateful, super thankful you didn't have to do that and you did. So thank you so much for tapping in with me. My boy Cage just jumped in. What up, Cage? Um, so I'm about to head out, but I'm super grateful. I hope that you got some value from this. I hope that you got some game from this. Um, if you're someone that is looking to get that type of level of game on a weekly basis from me and my team, then go ahead and DM me the word action right now. Leave the live, DM me the word action, and I want to see how we can work with you. If you are a good fit for us, we're a good fit for you. We're looking for five to 10 people that we can take from wherever you are to, I would say, five to 10K a month within the first 90 days. And if you already got some motion, that's even easier for us. And we would love to double the revenue that you're doing within the first 90 days or 60 to 90 days of you working with us. If that's you, you're serious about doing this, not curious, serious, not curious, DM me the word action. We have lenient payment plans and we are looking to help. We probably are, we only take about like 10% of people that apply, but we would love to help out a few of you that are in here. Leave the live, DM me the word action. We'd love to help out if you're serious, not curious. And I'm not cheap to work with. We, we do great.